Welcome back, everyone. Pete and Kevin have been very busy over the last few months after winning the 2023 Southern California Timing Association Land Speed Championship. As usual, there are a few new projects in the works, and today we are going to show you and give you an update on the 5 liter V12 and some of the progress and setbacks both Pete and Kevin are facing with getting this engine finished for the next race season. This is our 5 liter, which is very similar to the 6 liter that we built. A little shorter stroke, a little less bore. Um, our 5 liter V8, the LS, LT5, mm -hmm. didn't seem to be that strong. So we said we'd build another 12 cylinder, but it built a 5 liter for the D class at Bonneville. So this, we just got it back from the wine bore. Um, I'm gonna buy and picked up the, dropped off one camshaft and picked up these four that broke, unfortunately. Because these, these four cams, not only did we have the material drilled a hole in it, but we machined them, they heat treated them, and what they told me was, the way you do these cams, you copper plate them to keep them from getting hard between the lobes. Okay. So when they do heat treat them and they bend, they bend from the heat treat, they can straighten them. But what happened with this one, it got hard on the inside and outside because of the copper. Well, there was no copper on there the inside. There was no copper on the inside. So when they tried to straighten them, they, you know, they broke. Oh, that's a bummer. So you guys have countless hours into these yeah, cams, don't you? Yeah, there's probably four or five days machining them, then copper coating them, and then grinding them, which takes probably almost a half a day to grind each one, all for naught. So, so gonna... on the block, now we did a video on this block being welded right. about a year ago when Eric was doing all the welds, and you can see the welds. And so since then, the block has been line board, and you said heat well, treated. We had a when we welded the end on on the cylinders, and we drilled the whole oil hole for the oil pressure. Yeah, it went through that joint. Okay. And it's and it's leaking oil. Oh, okay. So we had to hog out the material in the main saddles and get it relined board. So everything he, takes longer, it seems like, but. So this now is pretty much, the bottom end is pretty much there. We're pretty much ready to put together. Assemble. But now we need new cam We need to make four cams, which will take. This will take months. Take us right? a week or two to, well, we gotta get the material. You gotta machine it. I gotta machine it. Copper coat it, heat well, treat it, and we're grind gonna, it. We're gonna do the cams differently. You can use tool, tool steel. You don't have to copper it. And when you heat treat it, the whole thing gets hard and they stay straight. They don't bend. So it's a different material. It's a different material. We're looking for that material right now. Okay. But it's still the machining process, the grinding, and then okay. the heat treating. So we can put the short block together. Uh, so, because you do have the crank for it and you do have the cylinder head for it. So we've got seen. Got the crank, got the rod. And this is the head. Do you want to explain where we're at on the progress of the cylinder this head? This is the head. Oh, they're, ready, yeah. they're ready to go. We have to put valves in them. Well, it's got all the seats are in it. The guides are seats in it. Seats in it. Guides. It's pretty much ready to put together. Beautiful. All we need is uh, the time. Yeah. Okay. But we've had it all together, kind of mocked up, oil lines, water lines, all that stuff. Um, it's going to be identical liter. But it's just going to be five liters. Yeah. Well, but it, you said it's also going to turn faster, right? You're thinking. We're maybe hoping to turn a little faster. Yeah. 11, it's a little shorter maybe. stroke. If we can turn it 11 or 12, it'll, it'll make some horsepower. Okay. Should make as much horsepower as a, as a six. And then that's, I know I'll just show right here. This is the crank, right? In the bag for this. Yeah. That's the new crank. So that's all done. And that was made by SCAT, right? No, or is that, that was not uh, SCAT? Oh. Marine, Marine crank. Marine crank. crank. Okay. We've got everything but the cams now. We're just gonna put it back probably a month or two. And that's where the welds were done. That's cool. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're converting the car into a streamliner. You want to show us that? Or? We're, we're going to put a new nose on it. We're putting a new front end. We're moving the wheels forward. We're going to put a nose on it that covers the wheels are going to be inboard. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's 
going to get a, a foot longer too, huh? We're, we're going to narrow it about a foot. One foot, I think it's like. Um, so these are going to be like. So the nose is going to come all the way to there and come over here, and there'll be a couple bubbles in, in the where the wheels are at. Nose. Yeah. Look more like a like a uh, like a midget, you know, with the <laughs> nose that needs to lean down. So because we're the fastest lakester, and there's only three streamliners that are faster than us, and they're B's and double A's yeah. at Elm Rod. So we could put make this a streamliner and get two or three records with this. Jeez. We definitely can get the D, it's only 200 miles an hour. D streamliner yeah. at Elm Rod. So do you, Pete, what do you, what, what do you think, how do you think you're gonna start the season out? Are you gonna start it out as a streamliner? Yeah. And what engine or what drivetrain or powertrain do you think you're well, gonna put start? Well, put the 12, the six liter 12 in it. So you're gonna be, okay, so you're gonna go for the C streamliner class in May right. at El Mirage. And that's easy. We've gone way faster than we need to go. We've gone 56, <laughs> uh, we only have to go like two, 219 and 216. Okay, so theoretic, so you just have to basically change the configuration of the car so it classifies as a streamliner, right. but you're overly confident that with that you'll get those records because you've already exceeded it and, uh, in the Lakester been, class. We've gone faster in the Lakester, a streamliner should go 10, 15 percent faster, faster just because it's streamlined and we've gone way faster than we need. We've gone okay. 30 miles over the over the streamliner record. So there's potentially there's two records in that there's one would be fuel, uh, natural and one would be fuel, right? Yeah, or, one nat gas, natural, and natural fuel. Yeah, and you're and not gonna go for boosted in the, in the six. No, we're not gonna put blow it on. Yeah. And then we'll put the D motor in it, which are a little V8, yeah. or LT5, and Get we're gonna have to go 200. We've gone that way faster than that with the, so that'll be four, yeah. four records we can get next so, year. It looks promising, but you have a lot of work to do yeah. on the car. Yeah. And this is like this at this point, it's kind of like a re engineer of the vehicle. And then we got to take all this off for Bonneville because we want to run a lake strip Bonneville. Because <laughs> that's the, a lot. The streamliner yeah. record is 330. Yeah. Streamliner 12 cylinder. Yeah, I think that was done by the Vescos, the yeah. little giant. I think it was it like 333 or something yeah. like that. 333 so you gotta go, and 330. So, yeah, you got to do like 334. So we're going to make it into a lake, so we only have to go 276, which we've already done, done. up there. Yeah. So so that means it's going to be a really busy year with all the back and forth and engine configuration changes. Well, we'll, run the, part. we'll run the 12 cylinder four times, two times at El Mirage, once at Bonneville, and then switch engines. Yeah. And we have to make it a lake strip when we come back to El Mirage. Yeah. But we got we got to switch it back. We're trying to make this so we can put it back to what it was. Uh, after so it's kind of like, you, yeah, it, so you can kind of swap out the front end and make it set up for a Lakester or for a Streamliner. Yeah. Wow. That's going to be fun, Pete. It's going to be a lot of, <laughs> a lot of work. Well, thank you for all the updates. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone. We're going to try and get some more content loaded up here shortly.